Friday. Yes, it is. Do you have to think about that? No, uh, at work, every time someone says, oh, happy Friday, I look at my watch. Not fucking yet, it ain't. I do it all the time. Oh, because it's not happy It's not happy yet? No, it's not Friday until I'm home. Oh, you say that all the time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's not fucking Friday. Yeah. Nope. It's As far as I'm concerned, and this just happened with the wife. Well, still, technically, it is Friday. Uh, nope, it isn't. Then what, what day is Friday it? Friday is a state of mind, buddy. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> no, seriously, like... She she just texted me. Oh, today's so long. It's just because she's wanted to start this fucking this yeah, vacation yeah. thing. And if you are looking at the end of that tunnel, it takes so long to get there. Oh yeah. It, Friday morning is like Monday morning to me. I go there saying, "Fuck this." <laughs> just gotta get through it. I do the episode. I'm like, "Hey, it's Friday! Hooray!" Nope. Friday morning and Monday morning are the exact same to me. Mm. I just I go in there just like foaming at the mouth, ready to fucking kill it. Monday's the worst for me, but no, I don't know. Nope. About that. Friday morning is the same to me. Fuck it. And then once I'm home, it's Friday. Unless I'm driving here, then I fucking hate it until I'm here. Then it's good. Fair enough. That was a long, <laughs> long fucking aside. Yeah, but, you know, it's Friday, so that's what it matters. And now it's really Friday, though. Yes, it is. It's legit Friday because you're here and we're recording a video. That's beer, right. And we're about to open a beer. That's right. This is uh, Trillium's Permutation 6.10. So I don't know if I agree with the naming convention, or Mike doesn't either. I do not agree. And it's this is their Belgian Blonde with Sauvignon Blanc Grape Must. Oh, man. We'll just mute that. <laughs> um, it says 6.1% on here, but it says 6% on the site. You guys can't get this shit together. I guess. And we're pouring this into our Nerd Sense Snifters, which we haven't actually used in a while, huh? Nope. I'm going to pour it right to there just to, just to start. Mm, dirty glassware. Sign that I washed them. So yeah, this was Growler only. Uh, well, they had Draft too. Um, this was brewed also with Magnum Hops, Pilsner White Wheat, and Rolled Oats, and it was brewed at their Fort Point location. Oh. But I got it. I can't. Let's take a look. Not that it matters. Uh, straw yellow, yep. pale, a little bit uh, hazy. Vaguely hazy. Cloudy. Yeah. Uh, not any head worth yeah. mentioning. I tried getting a little bit. It's yeah. just fluffy white head. Some notes, huh? You get smacked with the Belgian yeastiness. And lemon. And lemon, yep. Wine character, not so maybe a little bit, but if you if, if I didn't if I didn't know there was wine must in here, I probably wouldn't be saying that. Well, if someone said there was like Nelson or something, I might go with that. Yeah, you know, because uh, you know we just sort of talked about it. Like it's not even wine; it's fruit juice. Right? Yeah, it's, it's smashed up fruit. Yeah, you know. But I, I'm getting like I'm getting like a lemon. I'm getting something like. Like a crackery, light, thin malt. I'm getting um, a Vegas hint of banana. Vegas, Vegas hint of it. Mm-hmm. But yeah, lemony. Yeah, lemons are kind of the, clovey the, a little bit. You getting clovey, clovey sweetness? I'm not getting that, but I mean, I think lemon is the biggest yeah. character in here. So it smells seems, delicious, though. Certainly does. Cheers, sir. That's a crusher. This is a sitting on the porch, drinking beer. Wow, that that is a that's a beautiful malt backbone there. Yeah, really, really nice. It's like very like salty and crackery. Nice. Mm. That's exactly the best way to put it. And it's just enough carbonation. Yeah, just prickly and yeah, beautiful. It just yeah. it's extremely refreshing. Extremely, um, it's very it's very effervescent. It's smashable. I think. Yeah, smashable. The, the ultimate uh, descriptor. It, it it follows the nose for the most part. It, it actually has a little more um, Belgian qualities on uh, the Agreed. palate than the nose, but you kind of get in what you're getting. It, it's a little bit crackery, a little bit lemony. Um, it has a vaguely farmhouse kind of a vibe. Yeah, a little bit. It's a fucking beautiful tasting beer. Jesus. 
And the, going back to the last perm we did, that was their Belgian IPA. That was that was a really good Belgian uh, style too. This is, yep. and you get a little bit of the grape must, but like I'm wondering what this would be without it. I'm not getting much, like, honestly. I, I don't know if it's the like I'm just getting like a that maybe that's that's where the lemon character is coming from a little bit. Well, the thing is, like, if no one, I think you mentioned this earlier. If no one said there was great must in here, I, I don't think I would even know. I, yeah. I, I'm wondering if, I, if I'm fabricating. Well, they're saying juice lime with a whisper of white wine. It's spicy clove. It says here too. I guess I'm not getting. I get the clove. Do you? I, mean, I get more. I get more of a maybe a candied over ripened banana, like a dried banana, maybe. Yeah, I, I'm getting more no, uh, more banana on the nose. I'm definitely getting. I mean, I'm getting a very little bit on the on the palate, but mostly I'm getting like almost like I'm getting the the, the malt. I'm getting a vague grassiness, lemon, and just a hint of that farmhousey kind of vibe. Yeah. That's kind of that's really kind of what I'm getting. No, no, that yeah, no, it, it's. I mean, it's delicious. It's it's absolutely delicious, and it makes me wonder. So they've done this. They've done that Belgian IPA. They did that Patters beer. I don't know if we reviewed the Patters beer. We definitely had it. We, we had it. I don't did remember. we review it? I think I we may have reviewed it. Um, it makes me since these are all perm beers. I'm wondering what they're gearing up to can. It's obviously, I think the end game is they're going to probably can something with Belgian ale or Belgian inspired ale. Like like they already have the um, Broken Angel, which is their strong Belgian ale. I think there's some sort of quad right now too somewhere. I thought we said they were doing something like that. That was a Cordoba IPA today. Is that what you're thinking of? No, I, I thought it was a few oh. days ago. I, I might be making that up. Okay. Like, I would... The Belgian IPA was great, but this, I would, I'd would. i rather have them like this. Me too. I, 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 I would take this all day. Yeah. yeah. This is really good. Um, yeah, this is delicious. So, yeah, let us know in the comments if you've had a chance to try Trillium's Permutation 610, their Belgian golden ale with uh, Sauvignon Blanc grape must. Um, it is, it's super refreshing. This is definitely one of those, like, sit out in the sun and just don't even pour it into a glass and drink it directly from the growler. Yeah, probably, right? No? Pour it into a glass? Okay, fair enough. Pour it into glass. <laughs> um, and uh, nerdsense.net, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, if those are your things. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the uh, notification button so you get notified whenever we post. And uh, I'm Sean. I'm Mike. And this, this is, is Nerd Sense. Sense.